Fantastic event. How have, how's the experience been for you and what have you enjoyed from today's uh, event, shall I say? I love celebrating children, period, but also just the talent that children have. Whether they're young people, whether they're children, they've come from all corners of the UK and they're genuinely fantastic. They're really inspired by film, they're passionate about it. And I think that in, say, 10, 15 years' time, I'll say, do you know what? I'm sure I saw that person at this cinema screen. Now it's a premiere of their very films. This is the future. We were just talking to the, the guy who founded IMDb and obviously said Damon Chazelle just won he Best Actor. IMDb. Yeah, that guy down there. Oh, in, the, in the shirt, in the uh, jacket. There you go, you go say hello. That's the real <laughs> uh, we were talking to him, obviously, you know, Damien Chazelle won the best director at the Oscars, you know, getting, he's 32, I think. Some of these guys, you know, might be there in, in 10 years' time. It's such an amazing event for them to, to show their work. Yeah, completely right. But I also kind of think that we now live in a generation where age isn't as much of a barrier as it once was. You want almost to earn your stripes, like a pilot analogy, you physically need X number of flight hours. Now, because of technology, people can almost learn lessons without having to necessarily go through the hours and the hours and the hours. And I was just mentioning before, Travis Knight, for example, who is the um, essentially the owner of Leica that have made a plethora of incredible films. He's not an old guy at all. And he owns the company that's the main rival to Aardman. So, you know, 32 years old, 32, 22, why not? Get them at 12. I was obviously also saying to some of the guys that this is the sort of thing that when I was younger, when I used to make little films out of, out of paper or whatever, that I would have got involved with this. It's something for you personally that you would have, when you were little, you would have, yep, I'm going to put my little stick man on a film and see what happens. To be honest, when I was in school, I found kind of media studies boring because it was all about Shakespeare. It was all about literature. It was all about old plays. So that just immediately switched off Radzi's board. Whereas these guys, it's so contemporary, it's so relevant. I've got a tablet in my hand, I can make something. I've got a phone in my hand, I can make something. And you get pros and cons of that, but the massive pro is it's accessible. And now anyone can do it. And so for me, in a way, I feel like I was born a few years too late because I'd love to be in school now where you're making stuff that you can be passionate about and proud about. Have you enjoyed, uh, have you seen some of the, the projects that have been on screen today and have you enjoyed some of them? Because it's been such a range of, of different things, documentaries, animation. It's nuts and you can see the result of those projects in their speeches. Some of the speeches, I'm not sure if you've actually heard them, I'm not sure if you'll get B-roll, but I'll tell you what, they're the real deal, they're proper orators, they'll put Theresa May to shame, some of them. <laughs> I was just talking to some of the guys who got the, I think they got the Best Documentary Award. I didn't know who was going to present it. And then along comes James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy. Well, I was stood at stage side when James Bond rocked up. And I said, is that Daniel Craig? He looks just like Daniel Craig. That is Daniel Craig, yes. But without a tux, I didn't recognise him. But you know what? That's, again, the beauty of this. That you, could be, you can go from an idea to a film made on a tablet to a long list nomination, to a short list nomination, to Hello James Bond's Martini Shaker Not Stirred. And also, I mean, for you, I mean, what would you say to young kids who are, who are a little bit younger than these guys and they want to get into filmmaking or they, they have an interest in it, what would you say as an inspiration for what they should do next? To any young people who want to get into film, you don't even need to get into film. You just need to do it. Pick up your phone and record something or just have a thought, use your imagination. I think the one drawback, or one of the drawbacks of being around in 2017, we never have time to think, to let our imaginations run wild. Because of boredom, we've got stuff that always kind of takes and occupies our mind. Be bored, actually listen to your imagination, and then try and turn that to life. And if you do, it might not be exactly as you had it in your brain, but you'll definitely do it better than the second time, the third time, and before you know it, you could be out there. Thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute Thank pleasure. You Thank you so much. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.